So what's up guys? Today I'll be showing you the new Doom Resource Explorer tool which basically allows you to view Doom Alpha and Beta version game archives. And this will allow you, let's basically open it and see what it can do for us. So I'm using today the version 0 0.3 and let's start by opening the Doom resource file. So you basically go to your game folder base and just open the game resources dot resources file. Okay. And here you can see we you see the Doom file system which represents the root of basically the Doom file system. And inside you can see a lot of folders which consist of subfolders and subfolders and eventually some files. Or uh, you can see a lot of files just in a root folder. And some of those files you can see their size is zero and we, we don't need those files. And some files are not zero which means it contains something useful maybe so let's try and extract some uh, file onto the disk which will basically just extract the single file from archive so we can explore it okay so just select this uh, session file click extract open the folder you want to extract that file to and okay name it like whatever you want we just leave the name like that and press save okay successful so now we can open the folder and see that yes this file is here so it did the job okay so let's try to see what's inside we will try to open that file we have had some unusual file and okay let's open it with the notepad and yes we can see it contains localization okay awesome so let's see what we can do else we can also can extract the whole folders like any of those folders what you, that you can see or you can basically extract the the whole file system onto the disk so let's try by extracting the fonts folder because it's pretty small so again we select the folder we want to extract the content of that folder too and click select folder and extraction completed successfully and if we open the folder we can see that yeah it can it contains some folder and files in them and let's compare it to what we have originally in the, inside the archive fonts folder and it looks pretty the same it has all those folders and those folders contain the same files Awesome, and we we don't need this, so let's just delete it. Okay, awesome. So as you can see, there's the second button which says export, and the tooltip says it extracts and converts files into some usable formats like TGA for textures and OBG and FBX for models. So let's try to export some uh, textures. We go to an image folder, I don't know, some models, um, something, prop, uh, okay, armor chart, you see, mm, looks okay, or conduit box, looks okay too. So let's try to export it, okay, and save it like that, and you can see, TGA file, let's try and open it, works. Now, uh, cool, so now we can export texture, awesome. Um, so what about models? So the tomb has two types of models, the static models and rig models. Let's start with uh, some static models. So um, the static model just contains some geometry and basically that's it, it represents a 3D model. Okay, so let's try some model. Okay, let's go to weapon or cannon and the Doom Resources Explorer can also allow you to preview the model and it also shows you uh, some 
basic information about that model and like number of vertices and number of triangles. Okay, uh, let's try to export it. Uh, if we click the export button, this will show you that it will export this file into Wavefront OBG file. So here it is, and you can preview that, open that file in your favorite 3D modeling or viewing tool. We'll use the 3ds Max here, we just import that OBG file we just exported from Doom file system and here we go we can see this Arcanon weapon inside a 3ds max which is pretty cool and it looks great awesome okay let's reset and let's try something even cooler okay um, so let's try okay uh, Okay, let's try to export uh, the version 0.3. It allows us to export rigged models, which means those models contains skeleton and the bones are assigned to some vertices, and that allows us to to animate those models. So, okay, as we can see it as a revenant, and it shows the 3D model here. Also, uh, with this model, uh, we can see the same info as uh, for the static model. Okay, so as we can see, this, the info also contains the number of vertices and triangles. And also, it contains the number of joints or bones, uh, like Let's try and export it to FBX. Okay, and you can see it says now Autodesk FBX file. Not the OBG, but FBX, which this format can contain bones. Okay, let's try and open the newly created FBX file. Open the 3ds Max, import, and import our file. Just leave everything like it is. And here we go, we can see Revenant, awesome, and we can see the skeleton bones of the Revenant, which is, you know, it's so cool, because we can now animate that monster. Okay, let's try to animate his a leg. We select the bone, and select the rotation tool, and basically rotate the bone, and this animates model awesome okay leave it like that he plays soccer and uh, let's try something else uh, let's uh, let's go to spine open his uh, I don't know left shoulder left arm arm row and go to left forearm okay and let's animate his hand. Let's rotate it to here. Mm, awesome. Okay. A little bit here. No, not that bone. Okay, like this. You see? Pretty cool. And that means... Yeah, like this. Okay, so as you can see, we can... Oh, let's see closer. Okay, awesome. So we can animate those models and render, you know, some funny pictures or make some videos or maybe in the future, uh, you know, the new version of the tool should be able to import those models back. So you can even modify existing models and import them back into the game and make some mods, which would be cool. But that would be like in the next version. And... That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching us and try and use this tool. And now you see the Revenant wants to tell you 
he's telling you bye-bye, bye-bye guys, bye.